Vancouver Island is one of the most beautiful places in the world and has so much to offer. We've come here the last three years and these are some of our favorite places and activities to do. Welcome to our top nine. Number nine on our list is take a ferry to a Gulf Island. One of the best is Salt Springs Island. And if you go on a Saturday, you can shop at the outdoor market, which has lots of cool shops. You can take your car, or as we did, walk onto the ferry, and we took a bus on the island. Number eight on our list is going to Theatus or Elk Lake. Both lakes are a 15 minute drive from downtown Victoria, and the water is warm for swimming. You can also kayak on these lakes, hike the trails around them, relax on the beach, or even maybe get lucky and pick some blackberries. Number seven on our list is Cathedral Grove in Macmillan Provincial Park. This is about a two hour drive from Victoria, but well worth it. You will see a lush old growth forest of rare and endangered Douglas fir trees as old as 800 years. And you might get lucky and see a local slug. Number six on our list is ziplining in Souk, BC. This is so much fun for the whole family. Ziplining will take about two hours and you won't regret it. You will first drive up in a military truck through some fairly sketchy terrain, then it's nothing but downhill from there. Just make sure you're not scared of heights or having fun. Number five on our list is Parksville. This beach town has lots of fun activities for families, like mini golf and bumper cars. But the main attraction is the beach, in which you can wade out for one kilometer in the ocean and only have the water barely reach your knees. The kids will find lots of sea life to pick up and play with as well. Number four on our list is caving at Horn Lake Caves. We did the one hour main cave tour for $27 per person. This was such an interesting experience as the tour guide takes you through the cave and you experience ultimate darkness when they get you to turn out your lights. Great fun for the family. Number three on the list is Mystic Beach and China Beach. To get to these beaches, you have to drive one hour and a half from Victoria to Juan de Fuca Provincial Park. This is a very scenic drive and well worth it. The beaches are beautiful and require a bit of a hike from the trailhead to get to. The hikes are amazingly beautiful and once you get to the beaches, they're both stunning and tranquil. If planning on going to these beaches, I would highly recommend checking the weather forecast as the weather can be drastically different than the weather in Victoria. Number two on our list is Goldstream Park. Goldstream Park is just a short drive outside of Victoria. This park has some amazing campgrounds, plus there are some spectacular hikes and waterfalls in this park. Two of the hikes we did were Niagara Falls hike and Upper Goldstream Falls hike. We were able to do both of these hikes in just one day. You won't be disappointed with either of these hikes as there are some amazing waterfalls at the end of each and the hikes are beautiful as well. Don't forget to bring your bathing suit as you can swim in the Upper Goldstream Falls. A swim you will never forget. And now for number one on our list, which is Victoria. This city has so much to offer. If you're a coffee drinker, there are many great coffee shops throughout the city. Lots of great restaurants too. Beacon Hill Park is a must if you visit. The city is very bike friendly, with bike lanes and paths throughout the city. Our favorite things to do in Victoria are, number one, feeding the seals at Oak Bay Marina. This is an inexpensive way to see some ocean's wildlife, and kids will love it. We also love to walk the docks and look at the boats. Number two is going to Willow Beach. This is such a peaceful and beautiful beach. The kids can play for hours in the sand building forts and digging while you people watch and maybe see some sea life swim by. Fisherman's Wharf. This is a unique market, has floating houses that actually look like houses and some great restaurants to eat at. Number four, taking a sailboat on the open water. If you Go in the evening, the boat will stay in the harbor, but if you go during the day, the sailboats will take you around to see some of the wildlife in the ocean. And number five, walking downtown and seeing the shops, the Fairmont Hotel, and walking through Chinatown. There's so many things to do in Victoria, what we've listed is just scratching the surface. 
We hope you find our favorite places helpful in planning your visit to Vancouver Island.